Hey, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with H. Cooking with H. In today's video, I'm going to be using this bad boy. I'm going into this little beauty and I am making something that if you know me, you know I love. Oh, I'm going to try and make some cinnamon rolls in the air fryer. I've got all my ingredients ready. So I'm gonna attempt to do this. So join me over here in the air fryer. First step, mix together all the frosting ingredients until well combined and there's no lump and set aside. Right, 120 grams of cream cheese. I love cinnamon rolls. I actually worked at a coffee shop where we made cinnamon rolls. A lot of the ingredients were actually imported from Canada because it was a Canadian chain. So to all our Canadian viewers, did you know or do you know of a chain called Saint Cinnamon? I think it used to come in for us. All I did really was put cinnamon rolls together. I fell in love with cinnamon rolls then. Ever since then I've loved them. So let's try and make them and if this works and it's easy, then I'm going to be making these a lot more in the air fryer. So we need 114 grams. Oh, 113 grams and I need 114. 120 grams of powdered sugar, or for us Brits, icing sugar. I probably should have sieved this first. Don't say anything about it, but this just seems a little bit granulized. Just before I go any further, if you do like the video and you do like the things that we do attempt to make in the kitchen, which is mainly your US dishes, then please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that notification bell to be notified every time we upload a new video. So if you've got any recipes for cinnamon rolls in the air fryer or any other dishes, either let me know in the comments down below or head over to the website, which is www.mrhandfriends.com forward slash cooking and let me know what your recipe is there. There's a little form that you can fill out with suggestions of things for us to cook or just to try. Oh, would you look at that? Okay, so that's done. It says set it aside. And now I need to go ahead and do some combining for the dough, which is the bit that terrifies me the most. Oh, yeast stinks, doesn't it? So let's work four grams in. There we go. 57 grams of butter melted. So I'm gonna just weigh this out and then I'm gonna melt it. Oh, I've never been a stickler for the rules as much as I am today, because you know I really want this to work and when it comes to things like dough and things rising I think if I get the mixture wrong it's not going to rise and this is all going to get a pot so I am trying my hardest One thing I don't want to hear people is in the comments how you buy these ready-made in the frozen aisle and that you just put them in the oven because that is going to make me really jealous. That's lovely but we don't actually have that option so that's not fair okay. Yeast really does have a distinctive smell doesn't it? Oh I've combined that and I need to let it bloom for one minute. Oh, and then I need to mix in some all-purpose flour. So I'll leave that for a moment. A little secret for all of you patrons, there is something very fun happening at the end of October, so make sure you come over and join us. Also, because our lovely patrons do support the channel, these are all the lovely people that help us out and support the channel even further. So my minute of blooming has passed. It now tells me I need to add in two cups. I have measured out my flour. I did put it in this jug. Don't worry, I didn't measure it by going up here. Two cups is 240 grams. I'm scared. 240. I know it's always dangerous to weigh something out over your ingredients. I know people are probably screaming at the TV telling me not to do this. And I'm even telling myself not to do this, so I don't know why I'm doing it. But until I ruin it, I'm not going to learn, am I? Mix it in to well combined and then I need to cover with a tea towel for one hour. Okay, that is all mixed. 
There aren't actually any lumps in it, and I know, that's a slight lie, there are a few lumps in it, and I'm gonna leave that for one hour in a warm place, like it suggests, so that's going in my airing cupboard, and it tells me to cover it with a tea towel, and the tea towel that I'll be using is this lovely tea towel that my friend Kathy sent us across from Tennessee. Nice clean tea towel, that one. Right, so I will be back in one hour's time. Okay, so it's an hour later. The mix has been proofing, or what do you call it, blooming. You can see that there's some air in it now as well. Now what I need to do is I need to knead the dough on a floured surface and roll out to a quarter inch thick. So I have washed the surface. And I'm just gonna go to town with it really, I think. And then I'll clear this up after. This actually scares me, doing this. I don't feel like that's gonna... No, I nearly missed a step. I need to mix in the rest of the flour, I don't know. <laughs> no wonder why it didn't look the right consistency. So in there is the remaining flour, baking powder and salt. I need to mix that. That's a better consistency for kneading dough. I might just have to get stuck in. So I need to knead this on a floured surface and another bit of dough on the floor. Gosh, look at that. Look at the state of that. Oh, I could never be a baker. Oh, I'm not looking forward to cleaning this surface after, I'll tell you that. I feel I've kneaded that now. If I add any more flour, I think it's gonna change the consistency too much. So I'm gonna get my rolling pin and roll it out. Okay. I think we'll go with that. Softened butter. How do you spread the softened butter? I need to sprinkle the dark brown sugar and the cinnamon on top. Yeah, that, that worked well for the spread in, didn't it? Now is time to put my disclaimer in and tell you that I'm not a cook. So please don't follow this channel for advice on how to make anything. And then the cinnamon. So I've measured the cinnamon in here. And this will probably sprinkle a bit better. Okay, so now it says to roll the cinnamon rolls tightly, beginning at the long edge until a log of dough has been formed. Oh, this is not the fun part. Or well, maybe it is. Maybe it's just the bit that I'm a bit worried about. I'm sure once I get this going, it'll be all right, she says. Oh, it's all sticking. That doesn't feel very tight already. this into 25 to 35 mil slices. I'm not sure if you do this, but when I used to work in the coffee shop and we used to make these, so we'd make them fresh and then the next day, obviously because they were no longer fresh, we would cut them up, put more sugar and cinnamon on them and put them back in the oven and turn them into cinnamon crisps which, to be honest, they were lovely as well. So if you ever have any leftover cinnamon rolls, my advice to you would be to do that. Right, I'm gonna pop these straight in here. I'm not sure how much space to leave, but I'm gonna try and pack them fairly tight. Okay, now I need to let that go for another 30 minutes, cover with a towel, 30 more minutes, and then I need to place them in the air fryer for 12 minutes. So come back a bit later. Okay, so I've left it half an hour and the cinnamon rolls have been proofing. I mean, they do look like cinnamon rolls. I'm going to give them that. So I'm just putting the cinnamon rolls back into the preheated air fryer on 165 for 12 minutes. I'm hoping that they come out lovely. There's one minute left and it smells quite amazing. You can smell the dough, kind of the yeast, cinnamon, and I can actually smell this frosting. Oh, look at that frosting, that's like lush. So 
They're going to come out, we're going to see if they fell apart or not. Hopefully I rolled them tightly enough, hopefully I put them together close enough, although I don't think I did, so if I've got something wrong or any, if you've got any tips of what to do next time, please let me know in the comments below. But what we'll do is they'll come out, we'll let them cool down, and then we'll probably do a taste test later on because we've got to get ready for our patron live. Oh, they're ready. Oh, some of them are a little bit burnt. They're packed enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with the way they look. I'm obviously, it's in the taste. They're a bit harder than I thought they would be, but I've cooked them for exactly as how long it said, and I preheated them as well. So we're back in the studio, and now I am joined by my lovely husband, Mr. H. And my beautiful baby, Baby H. Mm, baby baby H. H is chucking into a little cake bar that I haven't made. And me and Mr. H are going to be getting into the cinnamon rolls. Look at that. Check that out. The one thing I found was there was a lot of frosting. So we could probably have more frosting on this. And I think they cooked a little bit too much on the outside. I probably should have checked rather than just go with the instructions. Wow. I suppose just need to get on and try it. Yep. Ready? Ooh. Enjoy. Oh, well. The no you... Cinnabon, though. Have you had some already, have you? I may have done. Right, here goes. Oh. Mm. Mm. Like that? Mm, I do. Oh. Mm. I think they're good. I mean, for some reason, I was expecting them to be like a bit of a hack and easier in the air fryer. Mm -hmm. Same amount of time, was it? Well, I think cooking-wise, it was the same amount of time, but all the prep took just as long. Look at that bad boy. Let us know in the comments below, do you like cinnamon rolls? Because we love cinnamon rolls, especially yes. Mrs. H. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, should I make them again? Yeah. Yes. These are great. What's your rating? I have a couple more bites. And I think they're quite good. Mm, I think they're amazing. We've got Halloween coming up, so we have opened up our bloody love Halloween merch section I'm sorry it's a shameless plug if you would like to take a photograph of yourself send it into us wearing the merch or you might be drinking a coffee out of the mug again we will put that onto our website on our Hall of Fame we will indeed right I'm gonna take another bite and then I'm gonna rate this out of 10 that looks a big bite to me I've got a big mouth mmm mmm I love you <laughs> she mm. loves you too, Daddy. So much so that she's putting cake on your hair. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. Oh. I was comparing it to like Cinnabons. Oh, that 8 out of 10 is really good. Oh. Well, if you liked the video more than Mr. H liked the <gasps> cinnamon roll, then eight. please don't forget to give this video a like. 8 out of 10 is good. I was going for a 10. If you are new to the channel and you like reaction videos, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you'll be notified every time we upload on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And all that leaves us to say is... Take care. God bless. And see you on the next video.